The cost of building solar panels has dropped by 99% since the 1970s. Here's how. The technology underlying solar panels was developed in the USA in the 1950s, with Bell Labs producing the first practical solar cell in 1954. In the 1970s, in response to the oil crisis, the Nixon administration pumped money into energy R&D, including into solar, especially through the Energy Research and Development Administration. This put in large-scale orders for solar panels, and through economies of scale, was able to get the cost of production below $100 per watt of solar capacity for the first time. Then, in the 1980s, Japanese manufacturers started building solar panels for niche markets, improving the technology and bringing the cost down further, to below $20 per watt. Then, in 1994, the Japanese government introduced a rooftop solar subsidy program, increasing the market for solar panels. Manufacturers scaled up their production, and the cost of manufacturing rapidly dropped below $10 dollars per watt. But then, in 1998, the Green Party became part of the ruling coalition in Germany, and in the year 2000, that new German government passed the Renewable Energy Law, including a new solar feed-in tariff. Households and utilities could now feed their solar generation into the German grid, and be paid a pretty decent price for it. And this quadrupled the market for solar. Investors poured into the sector, and manufacturers scaled up operations again. By the year 2010, the price per watt had dropped below $2.50. And then China took the baton. In the early 2000s, entrepreneurs established successful solar panel companies like SunTech. Post-financial crisis, the Chinese government made loans for new solar companies based on SunTech's model much more affordable, and created an extremely competitive industry which only drove costs down more. Today, the average price of manufacturing a solar panel is just 30 cents per watt. And even factoring in installation costs and other overheads, the average total price for installing solar is now just over $2 per watt. This was not accomplished by just one country. The USA, China, Japan, and Germany all played significant roles, with other countries I didn't even mention, like Australia and India, also contributing. And we now enjoy such cheap energy because research drove technology forwards, but also because government policy shaped demand. You can learn more about the remarkable remarkable rise of solar and the US-wide day of action celebrating clean energy on Sunday, September 21st, by going to sunday.earth, linked in bio.